Dr. Hillary, what do you make of these new figures then that, um, that, that youngsters are drinking more and starting younger? Well, they are, and it's worrying. We're talking mm. about uh, looking at your statistics 11 to 15 year olds uh, mm. experimenting, but uh, not just experimenting, but drinking more, uh, binge drinking, and binge drinking is very harmful. Um, uh, at that age, the brain is still developing, so there's evidence that uh, there, there can be long term problems with memory, with coordination, um, uh, with, with movement. Uh, we're seeing a huge rise in alcohol related liver disease, about five, six thousand deaths every year and that's increased by some 500 percent in the last um, 30 years. So it's, just not, it's not just the liver, it's, it's uh, every organ in the body is affected by alcohol, but, but more than that, the social consequences of binge drinking in young people, the disinhibition, the mm. getting in, uh, uh, rape, STDs, um, all sorts of problems, drink driving, accidents, homicides, we see all of those things as a result of binge drinking mm. in young people who are not mature enough to handle it and certainly not control the amount they're drinking. So it behoves every parent to be aware of it, to, um, you know, to, to educate uh, young people about the, uh, the downside of drinking as, as well as the perceived benefits mm. and, and just get people to have a, a sensible approach, a responsible approach to drinking. It's probably worth remembering actually the influence because some of the, the, the differences regionally in the figures, um, alcohol consumption, uh, representative alcohol consumption, I was saying earlier, is down to the drinking patterns of the adults around yes. that affect that. So yes. it's probably worth parents during the summer holidays remembering that what they're doing is, is kind of. Oh, oh, was that yeah. your experience that you saw adults around you drinking and thought, well, I'll give it a go? My stepdad used to manage a nightclub. So it was quite around, oh. that, that was when I was a bit older, probably about 15, 16. Mm. So that was around then, but it wasn't at the beginning. Nicola, what's your advice though? Because there will be parents, I mean you're a parent yourself, there will be parents watching this, knowing that their, their children are susceptible to this. What's your advice in terms of them uh, helping their kids to understand the, 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 the dangers of binge drinking? Uh, I think they just need to know really. And obviously I think scare storm is quite a good tactic. Um, I met a man who died of drinking when I was going through it all and that hit home quite a little bit. Yeah, just alcohol poisoning, it's just yeah. an acute binge, can, can render somebody unconscious, stop breathing, uh, inhale their own vomit uh, and die suddenly. We see that, uh, I mean I used to see that as a casualty mm -hmm. officer, not t too uh, uncommonly unfortunately. But you know, alcohol has never been um, uh, more available, it's very available, it, yeah. it's, 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 cost, it, it's, its cost is very low, uh, it's promoted in society. And it's about educating young people to, to say, well, look, this is either going to take over my life or I'm going to enjoy mm. it now and again in moderation.